Hi, I'm Clara Ogren, Stella and Dot Independent Stylist. I'm here today to share with you my latest haul. I have seven new items that I've purchased for my collection and I just wanted to share them with you today. So the first item that I want to share is the Marquesa Studs. I purchased these to go with my Lococo rope necklace in turquoise. Um, they were designed to go with the Marquesa ne necklace, which has actually some of these in them. It's a bigger statement piece, um, one that I definitely want to get. But for now, I have this, and I wanted some earrings to go with it, and I just thought these would be a great match. And they are. Um, the turquoise color is uh, um, pretty much the same as the necklace and uh, they just have really beautiful detail. I don't know if you can really see um, around the turquoise bead there are these kind of smoky gray rhinestones. I don't know if you can kind of catch that but that just gives it a little bit of sparkle which is nice and then of course this kind of gold backing here it's sort of um, it's sort of lacy if that makes sense. It's not all the way solid, um, but it's really pretty. So I'm excited to wear these together. I think they're just going to go beautifully, um, and they're not too matchy-matchy, which is great. So I love those. Um, another pair of earrings that I got are these Capri Chandelier earrings. These are a best, best seller in coral. Uh, they also come in turquoise, but um, I already have a few turquoise pieces, and um, the coral is really the one that is selling the most. So I purchased these. I love these. Um, you can't really tell in the video, I don't know if you can kind of pick up the detail, there's a lot of detail in these, there's a reason why they're a bestseller. Um, there's all these little tiny beads, or I guess colored rhinestones, not beads, colored rhinestones. Um, it starts off with a pale pink and goes to sort of a corally orange pink and then a nice kind of mm, like a cranberry red. And they're just so full of detail and shine and movement. Um, I was wearing them today, actually, and a friend commented on how much she loved the movement. Um, if you can, you know, get a feel for that. Um, they're just very intricate. Um, close up, you see all the detail from far away. I'll give you kind of an idea. From far away, you don't see all that detail, but you still get that nice pop of color next to your face. And the length is just really nice. And you can kind of get an idea of the movement. Um, so those those are just really a really nice statement earring. Let me give you one more close up there. Um, and they're not too heavy. Um, I know that might be a concern for some of you. Um, I guess I'm not the best person to give that answer to because I wear heavy earrings, so it doesn't really bother me. But I don't think that they are. They, I feel like they're pretty light for an earring of this size. Um, not to mention that the back, it's just plain gold, but see how it's hollowed out there? So that cuts down on a lot of the weight. There you are. The next piece that I got was the Pippa necklace. Um, I don't if you have seen some of my other videos, my very first video um, talking about my Stellan Dot starter kit, I received the Pippa earrings. So I have the matching earrings. And I also received the Libby layering necklace. And I wanted to get a necklace to layer over this. Um, the Adina layers really well, the Millie layers really well, but I went with the Pippa since I had the matching earrings already. And I'm kind of a stickler for having a set. I know I know that you, know, you can do mixy-matchy, but I just really like to have a set. Um, so I went with this. And you can see there, they layer really nicely together. The thing that I really like about the Pippa necklace, um, I will admit I'm not much of a green person. Um, I guess it kind of works in my favor because I don't have a lot of green in my wardrobe. So I can use the green jewelry as a complementing color to reds or corals or pinks. Um, you know, blacks, whites, grays, browns. Um, so that, that works out good because I don't have a whole lot of green. So this is a nice accent color. Um, so at first I wasn't drawn to the, this necklace, this set, because I'm not a green fan. But what I've come to really love about the earrings, which is what persuaded me to get the necklace, was these geometric shapes. A lot of jewelry has a lot of squares, circles, maybe some ovals or teardrops, but these are just a very kind of organic geometric shape that's so different. And I like, of course, to have things that are different from what everybody else has. So I liked that. Oh, and you get a nice little clover there for the um, Stella and Dot symbol. Um, so there's some triangles, there's also some hexagons, um, but it's the bigger pieces are these geometric shapes, and I just really like that. It's just something different. 
So you can wear it by itself. You can layer it with the Libby layering necklace to kind of give you that layered look. The other thing is it's long enough that you can double it up and wear it um, closer up to your neck. So I really like that. I love that Stella and Dot makes their long necklaces long enough to double them up. I feel like it makes the piece more versatile and just gives you a little bit more options. And actually, I don't want to break the necklace. Um, I didn't need to unclasp it, but I think it would work as well as a bracelet. So if I would unclasp it, but I'm too lazy to do that, you can get an idea that you can wear it as a, bra as a bracelet, which, you know, versatility is everything. Love it. Um, speaking of loving it, one piece that I really, really, really love, when I first looked at the Stella and Dot line, one piece that just really caught my eye and I really zoned in on was this Chantilly lace cuff. Now, the website pictures, the lookbook pictures, this video, it's not getting you the true beauty of this piece. It's just not. you got to see it in person. It is so intricate and so delicate looking. It's beautiful. Um, it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a matte gold because it's not really matte, but it's not shiny either. It's kind of in between. Maybe like if you're talking about paint, like semi-gloss. <laughs> um, it's like a sheen, but not shiny, which I like. Um, I feel like if it was shiny, or it would kind of date it. If it was matte, it would be dull. So this kind of sheen in between is great. Um, it was actually modeled after a piece of lace from Blythe, our um, chief creative officer. Her, I think it was her grandfather's lace company from the 1920s. It was modeled after a piece of lace from that. So I love that little story. You know, these pieces really have some meaning and some history behind them. It's not just jewelry that people just kind of throw together. It really has thought and meaning. Um, so in addition to the cuff, there's also some chandelier earrings. Um, I didn't purchase those. I'm going to get them eventually, I know. But I had to start with a cuff. I just could not pass it up again. So I really, really like it. Um, another thing that I really like about it is you'll see... It, in the center, it starts off as a nice, big, wide piece, but as you come around the wrist, it tapers. So it gets a little bit smaller, a little bit skinnier, um, which allows you to kind of move your wrist more. Um, I had heard and read some reviews that people said that it restricted their movement or they felt like they couldn't really do stuff with their hand. Um, I don't feel that, personally. Um, I think because it tapers and because there's such a nice wide gap on the bottom that it doesn't restrict my movement at all. I feel perfectly fine in it. Um, I, th I think that this piece would look great for work um, with just some plain studs and maybe a sheath dress because um, then you would just have that pop of something or innate on your wrist but not too much anywhere else. Um, but of course if you're going to a party or a wedding, you know, that little black dress with this and those chandelier earrings would be perfect. Um, or, you know, with a white t-shirt and jeans. Why not? I mean, have a little bit, bit of glam in your everyday. So I love this piece kind of feel like um, power uh, Wonder Woman or something, like this is my power wrist, <laughs> but I love it. It's just so great. 